Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. I'm sure you already know the tragic context of this video. And if you're engaged at all in social media or any media this week, you've been overwhelmed by people arguing about gun control. As always here on the Professor Puppet channel, we like to try and understand things. Even some other people's insane sounding opinions. And I know that whatever I say, there will be a lot of self-righteous, angry, and sometimes very ugly comments below this video. And that is okay. I wouldn't be much of a YouTuber if I couldn't stand a few straw man arguments or ad hominem attacks. You can find all the well-reasoned arguments for gun control all over your Facebook feed, as well as the standard knee-jerk responses. But I want to try a different tack. So here are the top five reasons to buy an assault rifle. Number five, to shoot at watermelons and other fun targets. Shooting guns is undeniably thrilling. The machinery is intricate and interesting, they look cool, and the very danger and gravity of using such a dangerous and deadly tool for sport has got to deliver some kind of atavistic charge to our adrenal glands. Maybe you're a military history buff, or maybe you like the smell of the gunpowder and the loud noises. But before you go and buy one of these thousand dollar murder machines for your backyard fun, maybe you want to try one out in a shooting range in Las Vegas. I hear they do a booming business. Number four, you're a prop master for films. Even when assault weapons were banned from 1994 to 2004, movie prop masters were able to get special licenses for these blank firing guns used in films. This make-believe violence on film sets, it's always done under the strictest possible safety measures. They shoot blanks, but with real guns, so it's still pretty dangerous. Some of these movie armorers are real military historians who do their best to keep the guns in films as accurate as possible. Though honestly, these days, you can get pretty much as good a results with plastic toy guns and digital effects. Just look at the amazing stuff they do at Rocket Jump without ever even firing a blank. So this is what the final effect looks like. Number three, self-defense and home protection. Okay, if you live out in the tundra and you're in danger of being beset by evil biker gangs, zombie hordes, or hungry grizzly bears, the ability to shoot 30 high velocity bullets in 10 seconds might be very helpful. Though actually, only one of those things is not make-believe, and they will leave you alone if the lids on your garbage cans are tight. You can certainly repel any home invasion with an AR-15 undeniably, if you're properly trained and sober, unimpaired, and don't mind shooting one of your kids once in a while by accident. Or them shooting each other when they play with daddy's new undeniably cool gun. If you really feel you need a machine gun for this, you certainly wouldn't mind going through a little safety training, being properly licensed, and having your gun registered to a national database in case it fell into the wrong hands, would you? Of course not. You just want to help keep the peace as part of a well-regulated militia, right? You know, well-regulated like it says in the Second Amendment? Or you're not a fan of the government? Well, in that case, you might want an assault rifle for reason number two, to overthrow the US government. Okay, if you really want to overthrow the government, you're really gonna need a lot of these, because they have like an army, a navy, an air force, some marines, drones even. You are really not gonna win that fight. But if you're a true believer, raging against the tyranny of what you feel is a corrupt system, you're a freedom fighter. Well, you know, most terrorists think of themselves as freedom fighters too. Like Jeff Foxworthy might say, if your political beliefs justify you murdering large numbers of people, you just might be a terrorist. I know Thomas Jefferson said there should be a new American revolution every 20 years, but I think he was talking more in the metaphorical sense of the revolution of elections. And that's why the Constitution has its own built-in mechanism for changing itself and its amendments when the times change. If you really want to overthrow the government, use your words. Get involved in politics. If your message really is good enough to resonate, you're going to reach a lot more people with your YouTube channel than you ever could shoot with your assault weapons. Which leads us to the number one reason to buy an assault rifle, which is to murder a lot of people really fast. All those paper targets and watermelons are just stand-ins. These guns' only real use is the extremely efficient shooting of human beings. So if you think it's okay to shoot up to 100 human beings in under a minute, then I guess you think it's okay for people to have assault weapons. And if you think you need one because the bad guys out there who have them, the crazies, the fanatics, the criminals, well, they only have them because they are so readily available and easy to get. 
But here's the thing, just because you a safety conscious, fully licensed, trained, sport shooting, firearm collecting, homestead frontier defending, military buff, wants to keep it legal for you to own one, does that mean it has to be 100% legal for everyone everywhere to own one? Is the slope really that slippery, where denying an assault weapon to a religious zealot with violent tendencies leads to the government taking away your grandfather's Remington that hangs over your fireplace? And just because it's also possible to kill someone with other things, like knives and cars, regulating assault weapons would be like banning them? Well, for starters, knives and cars have many other non-murder uses. Cars are great for transporting people from place to place, and knives are wonderful for slicing bagels and spreading them with cream cheese. Assault rifles are not good for either of these things. And furthermore, you have to be licensed and wear seatbelts to drive a car, and even cream cheese has an expiration date. No, assault weapons are really only for murdering lots of people in a big hurry. And I, personally, am against anyone doing that. Yeah, I've said it. Unsubscribe if you like. But Professor Hans von Puppet is against murdering. Sure, the watermelon thing is fun, but for the same price of an AR-15, you could buy a PlayStation with a lot of games, and then you can machine gun to your heart's content and nobody gets hurt. Thank you for watching. If you like arguing about gun control and other political matters, jump into the comments below. Or, if you are outraged at how easy it is to get such dangerous weapons in America, don't just tell me, tell your congressman.